Hey there, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you build custom affinity audiences inside of AdWords. If this is your first time visiting the Ad Skills channel, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher, and I'll be walking you through the entire process. So, what are custom affinity audiences? Well, they're our way to create our own targeting buckets inside of Google AdWords. So, when I say creating our own targeting buckets, Google has a Google has a type of targeting known as affinity audiences, which categorize what people are interested in. So for instance, I look at a lot of sports stuff, so I would fall into the sports category. There's people who like beauty stuff. There's people who like investments. There's people who like cars. Google will go through and put people based on their online behaviors into these specific buckets. But sometimes their cookie cutter buckets just don't fit. For instance, Bitcoin is a fairly new thing in relative to Google terms. Uh, stocks and bonds have been around for a lot longer. So if you want to go through and target someone for Bitcoin, you have to go through and create your own affinity audience. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So how do affinity audiences make your life better? Well, I like them because they allow us to do a couple things. Number one, we always target keyword and placements to make sure that we're targeting very qualified people when it comes to whatever we're advertising. But building keyword and placement lists takes a long time and a lot of energy. So I always like to be a little bit lazy. We're, we're absolutely going to do that, but we want to test other types of targeting because not only is it easier to put together a custom affinity audience, it's also a lot more scalable. There's only so much traffic going to keywords and placements. What custom affinity audiences allow us to do is focus on the person behind the computer and not the content. So that means we can advertise to them anywhere if we know that they like whatever it is we're talking about. And that in turn is why we can use what are called run of network campaigns with this more accurate type of targeting because we've told Google what these people are interested in. So there's a, it's really a triple whammy. Less work, better targeting, bigger scale. Those are the three things that we care about. So what do you need in order to create a custom affinity audience? Well, you need a Google AdWords account and a list of sites or keywords that qualify what your audience would be interested in. Now, the one thing I want you to take note of is you can use Facebook and YouTube pages, but do not use their URLs because what it's gonna do is gonna pull in the data for Facebook and YouTube, which is home to you know, three billion people. We don't want that. If you have a specific Facebook page or YouTube channel that your audience might be interested in, you wanna pull the website or the blog that they associate with that and not their actual Facebook or YouTube page. So steps to the process of building a custom affinity audience. You're gonna go into AdWords, you'll create a new campaign, you'll, you choose the targeting underneath affinity, and you're gonna create your custom audience. So I'm gonna, let's head over to AdWords right now and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so here we are inside of our example AdWords account and what you're gonna do is you'll come to, you're gonna create a new campaign. I'm gonna choose the display network because it's always easiest and has all the features I need. Continue. And we're gonna skip past all of this stuff and head down here to the audiences. So as I said before, you'll click on the affinity audience and you can see here's the stock affinity audiences that Google has built. You know, this can be very helpful information I'm gonna show you in two related videos, if you check out the YouTube card, how you figure out the best affinity audiences for you based on the data you've got inside of AdWords and Google Analytics. So really helpful, make sure you check out those videos in the card. But right now we're talking about custom affinity audiences. So basically if we wanna find an audience that we check out in the, um, so banking and finance, let's say we're gonna do Bitcoin. Banking and finance, we've got avid investors. We're not quite sure that Bitcoin would fall into that. So we can create our custom affinity audience by clicking right here. So when we're building our custom affinity audiences, we've got a few things that we can go through and look at. So interest, I would call this a keyword. This is the best way to associate this. URL, you can use specific sites. So places they might go or apps they might use. So these are all options that are available to you to go through and build these. I'm just gonna show you right now. So interest, I would say Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, Ethereum, and then for URLs, just to grab one, news.bitcoin.com. So you go through and you create a list of these. Now what I would highly recommend is trying out, you could do just interests, just URLs, a combination. I would always make sure that you've got between 15 and 20 uh, different keywords, interests, URLs to go through and build an audience. So if I click get estimate here, so you can get some more information on what these people are interested in and how Google sees, you know, just making sure that these line up. So currencies and foreign exchange and investing those are topics you could consider using. Now, I'll show you up here. So the audience estimate settings, United States, English, and display, these are based on the way that my campaign is set up. So if you wanna get these to change, you can't edit the context of the ad group. They, are, they, they match the campaign targeting. So if you need to do this for Canada, go back to your campaign setup, 
change it from US to Canada, English to French if you need to, whatever those things are, and it'll go through and uh, adjust your the estimates as you go through and do this. Once you're happy with things, you click create, you go through, you apply it to your campaigns, and you can start testing. I would highly recommend building three to four of these at a time. You know, we talk about in our campaigns our five by three strategy. So we like to have five ad groups with three ads inside of them. Build three, four, five different uh, custom affinity audiences to go through and test. And so once again, I would do that interest only, URL only, a mixture. If you can find apps, things like that. You, you go through and figure out what's going to give you the most delivery. So, you know, the percentage that you can get, uh, the number of impressions, but then also your, your CPA, what is the best uh, targeting that's producing the best results. So that's really the process for going through and doing this. Once you've got these in here uh, and you've created something, you will have your custom affinity audience appear down here. You just select the one that you want, add it to your campaign, and you're off to the races. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, and even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.